Hi everybody, this is Creative Research Team. We will discuss about rectifier and types of rectifier today. So, how, how do you mean by rectifier? Basically, rectifier uh, basically converts AC to DC. So, rectifier is converting an AC supply into an unidirectional DC supply. So, we will discuss what are the different types of rectifier basically and how we can make a rectifier. What are the components used in the rectifier? So we'll discuss all, all about these uh, things today and how can a AC is converting into DC. So first of all, uh, this this is a diagram of a uh, rectifier. This is a bridge rectifier. So mostly bridge rectifiers are kits uh, is a semiconductor diode and used for converting AC since it allows the flow of current in only one directional. So in normal concept in our direct rectifier concept we are using a diode diode is a semiconductor device that allows current in a one direction means diode has a two types of biasing forward biasing and reverse biasing if we connect the diodes a positive end of the diode to the positive polarity of the power then diode and negative to the negative supply of, uh, of the power then diode is in forward bias means it allows the flow of the current but if we connect the diode um, with uh, respect to the negative with respect to the positive and positive with respect to negative then diode will blocks the flow of current so using this uh, features of the diode due to these features of the diode we are using the diode for our rectification purpose so basically in bridge rectifier we are using four different four diodes in different organization different connections so in this way we connect uh, different diodes so how this will work and how it converts to AC to DC we will see in our next slides. So basically we know that the diodes are used for converting AC and DC. Also there that SCR and thyristors are used for different purposes for different conditions we are using thyristor also for uh, controlling uh, for converting AC to DC. Okay. This is uh, there, these are different types of rectifiers. Uh, so basically rectifiers uh, varies depending in upon the AC input voltage. So we have two different uh, AC voltage are single phase and three phase. In single phase, uh, if the input is single phase then rectifier also converting that to DC. If the input is three phase, uh, rectifier also converting that to DC. So um, the two types, two, two different types of rectifier are classified, single phase and three phase. In single phase, Single phase also different, divided into three different categories: uncontrolled, half controlled, and full fully controlled. In uncontrolled, half uh, uncontrolled is also divided into half wave and full wave, and full wave is divided into split slope play or bridge rectifier. So basically, in previous diagram, we will, we are using uncontrolled full wave and bridge rectifier for a single phase input AC supply. So like this, uh, three phase is also divided into three categories: uncontrolled, half controlled, and fully controlled. Uncontrolled is divided into half wave and full wave, uh, half wave and full wave bridge rectifier, and fully controlled is half wave and full wave bridge rectifier. So we'll discuss each about these things of single phase rectification today. We are not going in three phase. Single phase uncontrolled rectifier. Uh, first of all, we should know what to mean by uncontrolled, half controlled, and fully controlled. The uncontrolled means we can't control the output power. Means we can't control the output voltage and current. So in uh, this uncontrolled rectifier, we are basing basically used diodes because in diode we can control the output voltage and current. Whatever the input voltage we are providing, the output converts that to DC but with the same amplitude, means same voltage uh, we will get after the uh, output. But in terms of um, control, in terms of control we are not using diode, we are using thyristor. So thyristor has a gate, we can control the output uh, voltage or current by providing a gate voltage by or by um, giving the firing angle we can control the output voltage and current so the, the, in that way you can control the output but uh, in using diode you can control the output so you know about the con control and control and uh, fully controlled is totally controlled by the thyristor and half controlled is controlled by thyristor as well as diode means the circuit is consists of thyristor as well as diode we will discuss in further sections so we just got an idea what are the uh, meaning of uncontrolled fully controlled and half controlled in 
a single phase uncontrolled rectifiers we are basically deals with four diodes a single, a single phase uncontrolled rectifier is divided into different types means half uh, half wave rectifier as well as full wave rectifier in our half wave rectifier we are connecting a diode uh, over here so in uh, this is a this is supply is input this is a transformer uh, step down transformer we are give, getting the lowest uh, our lowest amount of voltage uh, after stepping down of the AC uh, input and then we are uh, getting the AC input to converting into a half wave means we are converting uh, we are con uh, converting only half of the wave to a DC means we get a constant voltage only at a particular wave so this is a half wave and this is uh, the positive half cycle this is a negative half cycle in half wave rectifier we control only we pass only the positive half cycle and blocks the negative half cycle because the diode allows only in the positive half cycle of the AC input and the negative half cycle of the diode is blocked uh, uh, this is the input waveform this is the Vmax means the maximum voltage and what we get over here is the DC um, voltage but in a uh, only get the positive half cycle of the DC so this is a pulsar in DC we can con convert it to fixed DC by connecting a filtering capacitor so we will get a fixed DC over here but this is what we will get after connecting a single diode so let's see the second one is full wave center tab rectifier full wave rectifier uh, is uh, have two different types full wave center tab and full wave bridge rectifier full wave center tab is the, the depending upon the transformer if the transformer is center tapped then you can use this type of rectifier here we are using two diodes in the previous uh, half wave rectifier we are using a single diode to convert a full wave AC input signal to a half wave DC output but in case of full wave center tap rectifier we are using two diodes but the condition is the transformer should be a center tapped ok here is the input voltage we are getting the output like this in positive half cycle we are getting this uh, cycle and negative half cycle we get this output and so how this will work actually the center tap transformer the uh, middle wire is grounded so if in positive half cycle the D1 diode is conducting and we get the output over the load and at the same time D2 is off and the device is connected to D1 and get the ground over in the center tap wire and when the uh, in the second half, second half of the signal, we get the D1 will be off and D2 will be on, and the device is connected with D2 and connected with the ground, and the device will work. So device will get the uh, a constant voltage uh, ever since the input uh, wave changes by connecting the center tap ground over here. But in case of normal transformer or if the center type transformer is not available then in that case we have to use full F bridge rectifier. In the bridge rectifier basically four diodes are used. In half, half wave we are using single diode, in a, um, full F center type we are using two diodes but in this case full F bridge rectifier we are using four diodes. So basically this is these are the four diodes connected over the input signals. So the, here is the output waveform that we will get. So, so how this work? In there is a four diodes and uh, these four diodes are two diodes are connecting at a particular time. Means uh, when you give the input signal, input AC wave in the positive half of the AC uh, voltage, AC signal, we get the two diodes. Uh, assume that this is D1 or this is D3. Then D1 and D3 will be in the reverse bias case and D2 and D4 will be in forward bias means the positive is connected with the positive end of the AC and negative is connected with the negative or ground and here uh, the negative is connected with this and positive is connected with the uh, ground and these two diodes are getting forward bias and the other two are getting reverse bias so we will get a particular voltage positive signal at this end and negative signal at this end so <coughs> and the diode rectifies the signal in the both the half cycle and we will get a constant voltage source so here we will get the DC we will simulate this output in our next section in the software named Proteus we will simulate this and we will get the output how the output waves are coming ok then single phase half control rectifier 
we are we already discussed about the uncontrolled rectifiers and let's see about the single phase half controlled rectifiers here in the half controlled rectifier we are using thyristor as well as diodes this is the diagram circuit diagram two diodes are used over here the thyristors are uh, when you give the uh, input signal in the positive half cycle t1 and d2 are in forward bias and t3 and d4 are in reverse bias and when the negative half cycle t1 and d2 will be in the reverse bias and t3 and d4 are in forward bias so in this uh, way we can control the out get the output in dc voltage and we can control the output power only by controlling uh, t1 or t3 so this is a half controlled rectification process but in case of will, this is the wave diagram of the half controlled rectifier here is the voltage wave diagram and this is the output wave diagram of half wave half controlled rectifier and different states by giving different firing angle we can control the output of the uh, dc voltage then in case of fully controlled rectifier we are using four different thyristors and we can control it totally by uh, giving the firing angle for two different types of thyristors so we can control the output power and current by giving uh, gate voltage or firing angle to the thyristor this is the output wave and we will get the output wave like this by giving the different firing angles to the input AC signal and this is the pulsating DC we can convert it to fixed DC by using a filtering capacitor after that circuit so thank you for watching this tutorial so if you like our video please subscribe to our youtube channel and um, continue to uh, watch different videos from our youtube channel thank you